Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Curse of Monkey Island with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. In the last episode, whew, did some things happen? We cut our way through the undergrowth, only to be eaten by a giant man-eating snake. Yeah, that was fun. And then we got spat out straight into quicksand and had to escape with the use of um, balloons and pea shooters and vines and all sorts of madness. We also had a quick sneak peek at Danger Cove. In fact, we can probably go back through there, yeah. Danger Cove up here, which is probably where Elaine is, as a statue, and the pirates who stole her. But for the time being, we can't get to that, that ship. The boat there is... The boat to take us across the uh, the bay is broken and uncomfortable. Well, it, will give, it will give Guybrush splinters anyway, so he won't sit on it. In the meantime, however, we do have a reservation slip which we found to the chicken shack. It's a reservation slip for Blondebeard's chicken. Blondebeard's chicken, that's right. Let's have a go. Let's see what it's like. I hope it's nice. I'm quite hungry. Can we go in that way? Oh no. Oh crap. That's through that door. Never mind. Do you have a reservation? Yes, I do. Of course I have a reservation. Then let's see your reservation slip. Very good. You may seat yourself, Mr. Uh, pardon me. Mrs. Brian Stoop. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, don't worry about that. So, what do we have in here? It looks like there's a lot of crap to look at. Tasty buttery biscuit? Mmm. That looks delicious. I'm going to take one of those, thank you. Uh, a quiet patron. Is he asleep? Is he dead? Oh god, hello. He's awfully reserved for a pirate. Let's talk to him. Uh, excuse me, sir? Now that's just rude. That's uncalled for, we're just being polite. Hey, mister. Mister, you listening? Ah! It's one of LeChuck's skeletal horde. Aye! I fixed his little red dinghy, but good. Mm, the undead that walk among us must surely be destroyed, lest their evil like overrun and befoul the world of the living. Aye. And he complained about me chicken. Oh. Oh, well, you don't want to do that. I'm sure it looks like... Oh. <laughs> I was about to say, look, I'm sure it's very nice chicken, but it's uh, it's gross chicken, so... Maybe he had a point. And isn't that another Easter egg? Isn't that Grim Fandango? Another LucasArts game character. Uh, oh, there's a button. Button, button. Let's take the button. It says, ask me about Grim Fandango. I don't want people always asking me about Grim Fandango. <laughs> there you go. Uh... All right, no, we don't want that. Let's take the let's take the bread knife though. Take that, mine. Lovely. Got some nice weapons. Oh, is it? Excuse me. Hope you wash your hands before you handle all the food. Stop that. <laughs> right. What else do we have here? So the battery biscuits, battery biscuit base, the gross chicken. This is the greasiest, crustiest, most revolting chicken I've ever seen. Be quiet here. Oh. Ah, yes. He got our black and Cajun style of chicken. Mmm. Do I take it? I don't even like looking at it, much less touching it. What oh, was it? Half past? It is half past the hour. Look at that. Let's eat it. I can't eat that. The fumes alone would kill me. Fine. What a fussy eater. What else do we have here? We have a pie pan. Can we go in the kitchen, I wonder? It's a pie pan. We can take the pie pan. Oh, biscuit cutter. We're just stealing everything. What's in the value meal menu? Is this like the pound saver menu in McDonald's? Value meal. Two drumsticks plus super slaw. Looks like a fine deal if you like slaw. Can we can we buy anything? Oh, grog menu. <gasps> grog menu. Traditional grog. Brewed the old-fashioned way. The unsanitary way. Nice. Okay, I could do some of that. Hideous portrait. That's going to be his wife or something, isn't it? The devil chicken. Oh, maybe not. So that's the devil chicken. The demon chicken that haunts Plunder Island and Puerto Payo. Well, that does look quite nasty. Ship in a bottle. I wish there was a real ship that I could use to sail to Blood Island. <laughs> I love the way he just turns around every now and then. And what about this one? I 
wish there was a real ship that I could use to sail to Blood Island. Yeah, okay. We got your point. It's the Mater D podium. Can we go in here? I don't think we can. That's a shame. Can we order something? Excuse me, it's waiter. the owner of the shop. He's got a gold tooth. Right, great. Excuse me, but... What a lucky pirate are ye! Me? You've struck gold, boy! I have? Gold, gold, gold! Ha <laughs> ha! Gold and nuggets of chicken! Oh. <laughs> a treasure trove of deep fried fun! <laughs> now, what can kindly old Captain Blondebeard bring ye for lunch? Okay. Uh, toasted waddle mold. Uh, wishbone sandwich with sweet gherkins. Cheese toast. Got any? Or nothing for me? Well. Cheese on toast sounds nice. Cheese toast. Got any? I'm afraid we're out of that fine and economical dish. Actually, I'm out of just about everything. Not a drumstick left. All I have left are those biscuits and a few tubs of our special Ipecac slaw. How's the Ipecac slaw? Not bad. But 15 minutes later, you'd be hungry again. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Could I have some of that, maybe? Oh, no. All right, fine. Would you like to... Oh, do we really want him as one of our crew? Uh, I guess so. Would you like to join my crew and sail the Blood Island? What? Leave me shop unguarded? Why, you treacherous tripe? You're lucky I don't take out me whisk and run you straight through. Whoa, whoa, calm down. I was just asking. Sorry. I'm as edgy as a beached whale in Nantucket. What's wrong? There be a horror that prowls the jungles of Plunder Island. A seven-foot-tall monster he be. And he has a hatred for mankind unequaled. His preternatural rage burns hotter than the coals used to roast a million of his kin. He is El Pollo Diablo. The Devil chicken! The devil chicken! The devil chicken. He hates me most of all. And his revenge against me must be tastier than me hearty giblets and cracklins party mix. What's he done? He turned loose all me chickens, returned them to the wild to roam the jungles free as nature intended. Even now, I have a huge order to fill and no chicken to fill it. But I know he's not through. Ruining me business is just the first step. Someday he'll return. For me! But mark this. I'll be ready for him. And a seven-foot chicken means me business will be thriving once more. Wow. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's quite a story you have there. So it, at least he's got a name now, the devil chicken. El... What is it called? El Pio Diablo. Hmm, I feel a bit bad for this guy. Uh, so, any specials? To whom are you delivering your chickens? How long have you been out of chickens? That's why there's chickens everywhere, yeah. Gold tooth, why do we want a gold tooth for? Uh, let's ask about who he was delivering them to. To whom are you going to deliver your chicken? There lies a pirate ship in danger called, and the first mate of that ship fancies me chicken. But I better be delivering their chicken soon. Most likely, I won't even have time to cook it. Why is that? You see, I got me this delivery in 30 days or it's free policy. And I'd be running a bit behind. What are the pirates of Danger Cove like? They're a secretive lot, and I can't say I've seen too much of them. They seem to be what one would expect from a bunch of grog swinging pirates. As filthy and hairy a bunch of swabs as you'd ever hope to meet. But beware of their captain. From what I hear, he's got the disposition of a shark in need of a root canal. If he be catching you near his boat, you'll be tortured for sure. Oh, great. Fantastic. Oh, okay. Uh, to whom you got uh, that one? How long have you been out of chickens? Well, how long have you been out of chickens? Weeks? Months, maybe. And it's not the loss of business that hurts me the most. No? I miss the taste of me chicken. You can dine this world over, but you'll never be a connoisseur of carrion till you had a taste of me savory squab. Why, even now I guts me a craven for me palate pleasing poultry. Ah, I can taste it now. Me crispy bounty of breaded beaks. 
There'd be nothing like the hearty crunch from these pan-fried jewels. Isn't that a little hard on your teeth? Aye, but the challenge of it all be half the dining enjoyment. Now that I got the thought of that crispy chicken extremity in me head, I'll be pining for the crunch till I get me something to crack me teeth on. Right, wait a minute. Do we do we need his gold tooth for something? And do we need him to crack his gold tooth out? Is that what I'm getting from this? Because there is... What's this? Nice gold tooth you have there. Hi! It glistens like the golden topping of grease on me luscious batter-fried chicken. Yeah, all right. Your chicken's great, I'm sure. Boys, this guy talk. So, wait, why are we asking such stupid questions? What are you going to miss about your chicken? Or why do you miss? Uh, did I mention how much I admire your gold tooth? Don't you ever like to get outside the shop? That's a good point. Don't you ever like to get outside the shop? Hi! I love the outdoors, especially the beach. Why, I'm in fact a member of the Brimstone Beach Club in Smorgie. Been a member there for years. How did you become a member? I threatened to run them all through. Then I lost me membership card. Last time I remember having it, it was in me breast pocket. I believe I was in the kitchen preparing some grub. Then I had that awful sneezing fit. Oh, that was bad. No matter, I guess I'll just have him issue me a new one. <sighs> okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Right, we need to get in his kitchen somehow. Mm-hmm. How do we do that? I don't know. Do you have any specials? We're out of potatoes, but we still have some eyes left. No, thanks. Right, I think that's pretty much it then, we've asked. I'll let you get back to work. Aye. Aye. So, there's a couple of things we've learned from this. Maybe we need to get him to snap his tooth for some reason. And he was a member of the beach club, but his card is somewhere in there. Maybe we need to go around the back. Maybe there's a back ex uh, entrance to it. But what could he eat that would crack his tooth out? Because that's the only thing I'm thinking is maybe if we do get his membership card, the people at the beach will say, hey, you don't look like, look like him. But then I could just have my gold tooth. I'd be like, hey, look, I've got the gold tooth. So... Who knows? That seems like a waste of a perfectly good biscuit. Who knows? That's, that's just an idea. What's really crunchy that I've got? Nothing really. Packet of gum? Do you want some gum? Ah, that meat flavoured gum be looking mighty, mighty tempting. But right now I be having this insane craving for something crunchy. Something to crack me teeth on. Something crispy and crackly, like me mouth water and tongue torture and chicken and lighter fluid special. Aye, if I hadn't lost all me chickens, I could be savoring that succulent bit of squab right now. Right, so he wants a bit of... He wants a bit of... Uh, crispy chicken. Oh, it's making me hungry now, actually. <laughs> um, do I maybe use the biscuit cutter on something? On the chicken? Do I need this gross chicken here? And this biscuit cutter won't do any good. Or the knife. And this biscuit cutter Oops. won't do any good there. Knife. No. no. This chicken is too hard to be damaged by mere metal. Ah, uh, okay. So that is the crispy chicken we have here. Let's put it in the pan. This pie pan won't do any good there. No, okay. Cut it with some scissors? The, the sh very sharp scissors? No. This chicken is too hard to be damaged by mere metal. Wow, okay. Burn it. I don't want to singe that with this ember. Can we pick it up yet? I don't even like looking at it, much less touching it. Damn, this we need him to eat this. But how would we do that? How would we do that? Nothing. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we used it as a pan. We were panning for something in the in the puddle. I wondered, uh, that was a completely random thing I did, but hey. Nothing. It's actually doing something. So hang on a minute, we can we can use this pie pan. What does it say about the pie pan? It's a pie pan. It's a pie pan. We can use the pie pan to like, filter things? Huh. Where else could, where else could we use that, I wonder? Or maybe we need to keep doing it, so maybe it's a random thing. Nothing. 
No, or maybe maybe something will come out of the drain pipe at some point. It's part of the complex drainage system for Blondebeard's chicken shop. Yeah. Okay. It's not quite yet, but, but there's definitely something there as well. Holy crap! Must remember these things. Right. Well then, guys, I'm a little bit stumped for now. We got a gross chicken. We definitely need to do something with it because he likes his crunchy chicken. Hopefully, that will give us a gold tooth. Um, maybe we'd somehow get into his kitchen and try and find his membership card as well. I don't know yet. I don't know. We also still need to uh, go back to the barber shop and win against the cable toss and also please cutthroat Bill somehow and get him on our crew as well. These two guys. We'll have to figure out how to do that next episode. Until then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.